Open market operations are the most commonly used monetary policy tool of the Federal Reserve. And so it's important to understand how buying and selling of bonds works. A bond is just a loan. It's just an IOU or a piece of paper that says that the holder of the bond is entitled to a certain amount of money on a certain date. And any time that the holder of the bond wants to, they can sell the bond at the given market price. So when the Federal Reserve goes out to do open market operations, there's a huge bond market of buyers and sellers already out there waiting to do transactions with the Fed. Let's take a look at how the Fed actions affect the prices of the bonds it's trying to buy and sell. Uh, first, it's important to, to recognize that the price of a bond is determined by supply and demand, just like the price of just about everything else. So, let's take a look at what happens on the left here when the Fed tries to be a buyer of bonds. When the Fed enters the bond market as a buyer, it increases the demand for the bonds it's trying to buy. When it pushes demand to the right, that increases the number of bond transactions that happen and drive up the price of the bonds that the Fed is targeting. Conversely, when the Fed engages in contractionary monetary policy and sells bonds, the Fed becomes a supplier of bonds, pushing the supply of bonds to the right as they sell their bonds into the market. This increases the quantity of bond transactions that happen and lower the price of the bonds that the Fed is selling.